Hello. Thanks for coming. I've been going through some more boxes. Seems a lot of them end up being a mixture. Like one of them was marked various Commodore interfaces and discs. And there wasn't many interfaces, but there was a lot of discs. Anyway, there was another couple that are power supply things. And as usual, of course, what happens? The power supplies get separated from what they're supposed to be with. And indeed, some huh, are nothing to do with Commodore. This one, plug-in battery charger for use with vacuum cleaner, spotlight, screwdriver, soldering iron, 5 volts, da 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 I vaguely remember what this might be for, but not really. So, I'm going to do the only reasonable thing. I'm going to chuck it in a box to go. This is another one. I know I used this for something. It's a very, huh, talk about a basic transformer. It's a transformer. 120 volts, 60 hertz in. 12 volts, 20 volt amps out. Class 2. I know there was something that I had this for. And it has on the end of it, hello Penny, a plug that is mysteriously like that of a Vic 20. But you know what? I don't remember what it was that it was for. And I'm not going to dick around with it. I, I, I think it might even come with a big 20. I may even use it on a big 20. I don't know. But the voltages don't seem to line up. And I'm having none of it. Right, Penny? So, I will again take this and pitch it in a box. And it can go away. Um, what else did I find? I found a mock five cartridge for the 64. I believe. Hello, Penny. This is another kind of fast load thing, but I'm not sure. So I will put it in the ever-growing box of things to test. Aha, uh -huh. here is a Vic 20 cartridge. Jupiter Lander. It still has the original plastic on it. I don't have the wrapper, like the the box that I know of, um, but it still has the original plastic to protect it. Because when I first looked at it, I said, ooh, that looks dirty. But it's not dirty, it's still protected. I will have to test this. So I'm going to put it in the ever-expanding box to test. And here is a lovely copy of Avenger, which basically means Space Invaders. Yes, Penny, I know. For the big 20. So I will put that, too, in the box to test. And here is one. It's funny how, you know, back then, no plug-and-play and stuff. This is Voodoo Castle. And it says, don't forget to type in SIS32592 and hit it. Return. Hit the return key to start your adventure. So it wouldn't start up by itself, but anyway, they got the instructions here, and you know, back then we would do whatever was needed to get something going. Although, I must say, the text adventures never really were my thing. Now, as you can see, I've got to do a little tidying here, shocking as that might be. Anyway, I found, of course, in the, in the boxes of power supplies, some surprises for here. Is a power supply, looks like a 64, has a square plug, which means only one thing, it can only be one thing, it's for a plus four. Now, somewhere, I do believe, that I actually have a plus four, maybe more than one, not many, compared to other things, so, but I don't know why things, of course, would have got separated, but of course, you know, things happen, they do, and here, this is a VIC-20 adapter. It's funny, it says on it. 
Oh. Output 11.5. Yeah, that, that thing there might have been used on a bit. I'm trying to think. I, maybe it might have been some adaptation from RTC. So anyway, I, I'm not going to use it. But here we have what I believe to be a very old Big 20 power supply. It doesn't have a date. Oh, yes, it does. It was made in the 42nd week of 1982 in Singapore. I will have to test this, along with other power supplies, because, of course, I have more. Here is one for 64. I'm just looking. I don't see a date thing on but one thing that is unique, and that means that it is old, which may not be good is that it has two, let me count, two, four, six, it has a seven pin DIN, and there are seven pins inside of it. They did, they always were a seven pin DIN, but they took away some of the pins inside. So there was, I think, only four. So there was, it should have been seven. They took away three. Probably it was cheaper, to, the connectors were cheaper, you didn't really need that. Still had the witness mark, although I do remember finding out that at one point people were sticking them in the wrong way and causing damage. I do indeed remember this. Um, so just give me a moment and we will continue. I must deal with something. I must. So just hang on. I've got to stop recording. Tune in to the next episode. We'll look at more power supplies.